Hey guys, Ryan I here. I hope you enjoyed part one of the Greater Than demo intro. And I promised you a part two where I would finish the story. But I want to make sure that you follow me on Twitter, Ryan Internicola at Twitter, and like my artist page on Facebook. That's Ryan Internicola artist page and visit www.peopleonahill.com and sign up for the email list so that you can have the latest information uh, about Ryan Eye Music and the release of this Greater Than demo, which is going to be really soon. Uh, we're mastering the track on this Thursday, and it should be available to you really soon after that. I'm going to give you details on how you can download the Greater Than demo once it's released. But first, I want to continue with the story behind the song. I already told you how this song turned out to be medicine to my own heart, um, and, it, and then I began to share it with others and saw that it would really minister to their hearts too. I took a trip a few months back to Wisconsin and just had an amazing response as I shared the song, Greater Than. Everyone who heard it was just responding in worship, singing it as if they'd known it their whole lives, and it was really touching something in people's hearts. Uh, while we were in Wisconsin, my team and I stayed with dear friends of mine, Randy and Kate. I've known them for years, and they're like, um, you know, they're like a mom and dad in the Lord, just amazing people who love people. They, they've taken people into their home and prayed for them and, and restored them, and they just really seek uh, to see people step into their best with God. And it was just so awesome being with Randy and Kate again. Then went back to the Charlotte area, and a couple weeks later, I got a phone call, and it was Randy's, Randy and Kate's son, and he was weeping and telling me that Randy had just suffered a massive heart attack. And they had found him and he had to be resuscitated twice and he was in the hospital and completely unconscious. And the doctors were quite concerned that um, there could be some brain damage, there could be some organ failure due to the time without oxygen and uh, they were concerned about the condition of his heart. It had suffered a massive attack and likely a lot of damage in the process. And um, so, of course, they were asking me to pray, and I joined in the prayers, and it was so cool to watch um, people praying everywhere, posting it on Facebook, and people who don't even know Randy praying. And then I got an email, and it was one of my friends in Wisconsin asking, Ryan, can we please have a recording of that song, Greater Than? We've been praying, the, the community around Randy has been praying the words to that song. We've been praying, God, you are greater than the muscle pumping in Randy's chest. God, you are greater than the electric pulses in Randy's head. And so I jumped on my computer and with my very little knowledge of how to record stuff nicely. I, I recorded a, a little scratch demo of Greater Than, and I sent it off to them, and I said, hey, this is for Randy only. This is not to share with people because it didn't really sound good. But they played that song in Randy's hospital room, and they prayed those words over Randy. And soon Randy began to move, and then his eyes moved. And then he began to respond to voices. And then his heart began to strengthen. It was working at, at about 15%, and it went to 20, to 30, to 40, to 50, to 60. They started disconnecting the tubes and the machines. Randy began talking, and then joking, and then walking around, and then giving the hospital staff a hard time. He, he fully recovered, and they sent him home. I mean, he's still in, in some uh, rehabilitation and everything, but they sent him home. And I recently heard from Randy, and he said, I had a doctor's appointment, and the doctor that saw me said, Randy, if I didn't know that you had had a massive heart attack, 
I wouldn't know that you had had a massive heart attack. Isn't that amazing? And how could I ever know that any of that was going to happen when I wrote the song Greater Than? It's just amazing that we get to be part of things like this. At the same time, I am quite aware that not everybody's story has gone like that. In fact, I'm friends with two couples who in the past few months both lost a child. And I'm a, I'm a father of five. Now, I cannot imagine the pain of losing a child. And it's my prayer that this song, Greater Than, will be medicine to their hearts as well. Not just people with these amazing victorious testimonies, but to people with deep and desperate loss and pain that they could sing to, you know, God is greater than these emotions I'm going through right now and greater than the confusion that's daily assaulting my mind, greater than the pain I am going through right now. That's my prayer. So I just want to thank you guys for believing in this project and, and helping to make it a reality. I'm going to make it available on my Bandcamp page. That's why I'm I at Bandcamp. I'll put a link to that page on my website and you'll be able to download the song. You can name your own price, which means you can get it for zero dollars or you can get it for a thousand dollars or one dollar or whatever you want. I just want to make it available for people and also give an opportunity for you to, to sew into it financially if you want to. So remember, follow uh, Ryan Internicola on Twitter, uh, like the Facebook artist page, go to www.peopleonahill.com, sign up for the mailing list so you can have the latest information. I'm going to be sending out uh, the good news that the song is available hopefully within the next week or so. So thank you guys so much.